Hey guys, I'm Rocket Rocket Racing. I'm here in Tampa, Florida with the Engine Lab. Uh, I'm going to talk about the uh, camshaft timing on the M96 and M97 engines. This happens to be an M97 uh, block we, that we built, or a long block essentially. But you know, when I set these engines out, I seem to get a lot, there's a lot of confusion. I get a lot of calls about the initial camshaft timing. This is the tool that you use to set the camshaft timing to, to align it. And I, you'd be shocked how many times the customers will send me their tools, swear the tools, oh, this tool is defective, it doesn't work, it's broken, it doesn't go in there, I tried everything. Well, that's because they, they have the cams are out of phase. If the cams are in phase and properly timed, the tool should slide in. Sometimes you gotta give a little bump with your hand, but it should go in fairly easy. So I wanna talk to you about a couple of other things also when you're doing these jobs. Each cylinder head on an M96, M97 has a unique cylinder number on it, a unique number. And this one happens to be 62021. Very, very small there. The valve cover will also have that same number, which is unique to that cylinder head. So the valve cover is fits each head. So the valve cover is sold with a head assembly. If you, if you have to break it, we have one out there that's got a broken valve cover, got to buy a head. Because the align honing of the cams and the cam saddles and the valve cover are all done at the factory, so they're all matched. Also the 62021 is on each one of these camshaft saddles or cam bearing caps. It depends on who you talk to, they're all called different things. So this one being 62021, if you look on the, uh, the camshaft saddles, you're gonna see that that number's on there, 62021. Now this one over here, we have this, this is a, just a cam, holds the cams down for, for timing purposes. You're gonna see this one's got 62021, A is an, or E is an echo. What's important to note is that the E is an echo does not go towards the exhaust. The E actually goes towards the intake. So uh, I'll, people will call me and say, oh man, my cam doesn't rotate. You have your cams caps on right. What do you mean? I said, what do you mean, what do you mean? They, there's, this, there's an order. Like they're a line owned from the factory with the valve cover. So just to help you in case your kid's riding a bike, you knocks them over, they go flying across the shop, you, know, you, you might have had them all lined up nice and neat and tidy, and they, they fall off. This will help you help yourself to put them back where they go. So this other cam cap has A as an, as an alpha. The A in the Porsche realm, 62021, you're going to see there's a, there's a 2A, goes towards the exhaust. So that just helps you get your, your cam shaft saddles where you need to be. Also, the torque specs for these is roughly 11 Newton meters for each one of these, these uh, 6 millimeter bolts to hold the cam caps on. So that being said, I intentionally put this thing out of time for this video. So if you come over here and you look at the camshafts closely, you're going to see that, that the camshafts, this is cylinder number four, by the way, we're locked at top dead center, keys locked in, show the camshaft, the crankshaft there. The cams on cylinder number four should be roughly 180 degrees apart, the, the intake pointing towards the intake, the lobes in the exhaust lobes pointing towards the exhaust. Now, if you come in and take a look at the back of this, you're gonna see that those, it doesn't align properly. Imagine that, we did this on purpose so you could see it. Now, I know that the intake is straight because I tested it with the tool. Not a modified tool, not a tool that's been ground, not a tool that's been bent. And it goes in there nice and smooth, okay? but it won't lock in there because the exhaust is on. So what we do is we come over here and there's four bolts on the front of the exhaust cam show. You loosen those just a little. Just a little, loosen them up just a little so they're finger tight. Take your tool, give it a gentle tap. That breaks the tension between the sprocket and the camshaft. Now, so these are finger tight. All right, so now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take my tool. I'm gonna come over here and I'm going to kind of move the camshafts a little bit. Just gonna get them lined up. Now that goes in there nice and straight. Now, if my camshaft timing is correct, 
goes in there nice and smooth. Little gentle bones. Cam, this, the exhaust cam is still loose, so I gave that a little tap just so it looked at it closely, the cams have loop limits. Now, they're both locked in at number four overlap. Now, if you look, camshaft timing is now absolutely correct. The lobe is no longer facing upwards a little bit, now they're facing outwards. So number four, you've got the camshaft intake pointing out towards the exhaust, or the intake, and the exhaust is pointing towards the exhaust. Now, I'm going to tighten just, just roughly, I'll come back through and tighten everything up when we're done. The spec. These are also 11 newton meters. Also, the camshaft bolt here, if you need to adjust the cam, to loosen this up, the torque on this bolt when you go to retorque it is going to be 37 foot pounds. Not 37 newton meters, 37 foot pounds plus 110 degrees. And then you have this fancy little Porsche tool here that you lock on there, which holds the, the everything into place. So when you tighten it, it doesn't move the cams. I will show you that later. So now going to cylinder number one. I intentionally put the cam, the, 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 uh, the out of phase. So number one, when it's roughed in, and I'm going to intentionally knock it out of phase here real quick. There. Now it's not out of phase. Cam shaft, I can't get it to can't get the total line. here cam this is a called what's called number one cylinder overlap and if you look at this carefully you're going to see that the camshafts on cylinder number one locked in at top dead center this is your baseline camshaft setting this helps you get close to where you need to be you're going to see that the exhaust cam is pointing down and out roughly 45 degrees towards the towards the oil pan or towards the exhaust the intake transversely is pointing approximately 45 degrees in, I'm sorry, outward towards the intake. So once again, look at the camshafts closely. This is your baseline setup. This hits, helps you get close to where you need to be. Exhaust, 45 degrees down. Intake, 45 degrees up or towards the intake. Now. I intentionally mark, mark that out of phase. See, the tool won't go in. I'm out of phase. So, what am I going to do? I loosen up this bolt in the front of the cam phaser. I'm going to use my little tool here, my other tool, to give a little rotation. Make sure I'm fairly straight. Which I am. Go. 
locked in. Notice I just gave it a little tap. I didn't get, if you don't have to use a hammer, you don't have to beat them in, it, 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 just a little tap. So now it's locked into place. So now I'm going to come back over here and I'm going to tighten up this bolt on the front of the cam phaser. 37 degrees, or 37 foot pounds plus 110 degrees. That is the torque, torque in this part. So once again, here we are, baseline for cylinder number one through three, camshafts, base camshaft timing, the low pointing 45 degrees in towards the oil pan, the intake pointing roughly 45 degrees towards the intake manifold. That is the baseline setup. So that being said, we're pretty much uh, done. That's how you time an engine. If you get into a situation where you can't figure it out or if you have a problem or you run into an issue, feel free to give us a call. We can help you out. The number is 813-605-5500. You can ask for Rocket or Nick, and we'll do what we can do to help you out. Um, thanks again, and uh, hope to see you back.